Dear Mamas, in honor of Juneteenth, in honor of the shedding occurring in this moment, we as keepers of culture have written love letters to Black Mamas, bearing witness to this juncture in time. This episode is different in many ways. There are no segments. Thea is mourning the loss of her father-in-law, actor Mel Winkler, and Akeisha's family is in the midst of a major move, so you won't hear their voices. We are grateful, though, to Shaira Lanise reading a letter from Thea and Anya the doula lending her voice and words. In the midst of uprisings on the heels of a pandemic, we offer you letters to Black Mamas. I am Crystal Tenille Irby, mother of four, three boys, and one girl. This is an open letter to all who are birthing in this moment. This is not a closing. In fact, the world is being cracked wide open. It is a womb. It is stretching and contracting only to open wider, making room for your freedom, for your child. Fire removing anything blocking our path to spirit. What a wonder this child will be. Look at the oceans of protesters flooding the streets, bending time toward liberation, making a way for you. So when you feel the noose of oppression clipping at your heels, breathe and chant. But God, but spirit, but the ancestors, but me, but God, but spirit, but the ancestors, but me, but we, We are the greater work. We are not broken. Your wholeness is there waiting for you. We are not alone. There are a cloud of witnesses who waited in the waters for the moment your body will open and pour into the world. They are standing with you. So when you feel like white sanctioned rage against black bodies on a 24 hour loop is siphoning off your sanity, breathe and chant. Someone is marching for me today. Someone is fighting for me today. The world is eager for my child's arrival. The earth wants my body to give. Someone is marching for me today. Someone is fighting for me today. The world is eager for my child's arrival. The earth wants my body to give. When the fear of one day being drafted into the mounting army of mourning mothers burying yet another Black child overwhelms you, remember, we don't rest in peace. We rest in power. We can shake the foundations of the universe. Remember, energy transforms. Remember, we heal. Remember, we don't rest in peace. We rest in power. We can shake the foundations of the universe. Remember, energy transforms. Remember, we heal. We revive. Every day the world begins again. The break of dawn is a breach. So gather your tools to walk through this opening. Remember, earth, water, fire, air. Remember, earth to ground you, water to heal you, fire to fuel you, air to transform you. Remember, earth, water, fire, air. Remember, earth to ground you, water to heal you, fire to fuel you, air to transform you. Some days you will stand. Some days you will replenish. Some days you will burn. Some days you will fly. Every day, you will push and breathe and open, push and breathe and open, push and breathe and open. Tell your birth story in all its complex beauty. Feed the ashes of love, fight, and passion to your belly. And may you birth the most magnificent phoenix we've ever witnessed. I 
I am Shaira Lanise, daughter of Den Black Mama's co-host, Crystal Tenille Irving. I am a recent graduate of Florida A&M University, a singer, dancer, and actress. I will be reading We Choose Fire, a letter from Black Mama creative, Thea Monier, mother of three girls. Dear Mama, when I see my people setting things on fire, I don't see it through the lens of whiteness. I don't see thugs or irrational beings. I don't see harm. I see ritual. I see a cleansing. I see rebirth. Our choice of fire is far from random. It is evidence that the pain we continue to suffer has cut through bone and flesh and reached our ancestral plane. I frequently and freely stated the impact of trauma does not release negative traits or coping alone. It also releases spiritual gifts and opens channels between the past, present, and future. Miladoma Somme, author of The Healing Wisdom of Africa, writes, Fire is the original element of origin, the one that was present at the beginning. He continues on to say, Fire is our psyche the spirit part of us that knows what has always been. As I watched flames lick the remains of a third precinct in Minneapolis, I didn't see idle destruction. I witnessed active reclamation. I didn't see protesters and riots. I saw priests and shamans reminding us that we are priests and shamans. I wanted to be a part of this ritual, this opening of a channel and welcoming our ancestors and descendants to demand we be recognized as who we are, the original fire people. Keepers of the heat, born with the natural ability to absorb the sun in our skin and hair with joy, as holy as trees, similarly capturing sun and transforming it into something the entire world uses to maintain its existence, life energy. So I sang with them, offered my voice full of pain and power as the light from the fire danced on their skin. I trusted my ancestors to carry every note to every city and every black body engaged in the ritual. I sway like the tree that I am, the trees we are, trees on fire that never burn. What a wonder we are. How confusing this must be for those who lack ritual and vision. We lack neither. Our ancestors are here. The ritual continues. Lift your voice and sway with us. We choose fire. This is Anya Duba. I am the mother of two young men, ages 24 and 16, and I host the Intercultured with Anya Dula podcast. Dear Black Mama, it is happening again. The barrage of news and new hashtags with Black names attached. We good? We all right? It is happening again. You scroll across a video, one that enrages you so that you call out, Jesus, please keep mine. We good? We all right? It is happening again. The conversations we are forced to have with our children based on the unconscionable actions of others. We good? We all right? Dear Black Mamas, it is happening again. The people are falling into the streets, demanding change, creating change, being change. We good. We all right. It is happening. We are freeing ourselves through our work, that deep, grueling, internal work. We're doing that. We good. It is happening. We are raising free children. We're doing that. We good. It is happening. Our children are being freedom, living freedom, demanding freedom. They are doing that for us to be good. Dear Black Mamas, Our contribution to the revolution is the greatest contribution there ever will be. 
more free Black bodies, more free Black voices, more free Black thought, more free, more free, more free. We all right. We good. There are many ways to meet this moment. To non-Black people, we say, listen, donate, amplify, heal. Listen, donate, amplify, heal. To our Black mamas, we say, in this moment, arrive in all the glory of your Blackness. We say, be powerful. We are more than our ability to endure pain. Our creativity has kept us and it will carry us. So choose your moments of resistance and rest to keep your imagination open. We will need it for the new world. In the midst of it all, there is joy, there is freedom, there is abundance available to you. In closing, we would like to offer a statement from Women of Color Podcasters, Podcasters for Justice campaign. As podcasters, we condemn the tragic murders of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Tony McCade, and many, many others at the hands of police. This is the continuation of the systemic racism pervasive in our country since its inception, and we are committed to standing against racism in all forms. We believe that to be silent is to be complicit. We believe that all Black lives matter. We believe that all Black lives are more important than property. We believe that we have a responsibility to use our platforms to speak out against this injustice whenever and wherever we witness it. Ashe. Mm-hmm.